Hey nerds, welcome to a Nerdentials Let's Play. I'm your host, Joe Tweeten, and today we're jumping into another title in our Apple Arcade First Look series, where we spend roughly the first 20 minutes of each title that I come across from the service, give it a spin, and give you guys my thoughts and opinions. Today's game will be the Bradwell Conspiracy. It is a single-player, first-person uh, adventure game put out by Bosa Studios Limited. Guys, I don't know too much about it, but I will give you a brief synopsis. Following a sudden explosion at the Stonehenge Museum fundraiser, you find yourself trapped in a hidden underground complex. Your only means of escape is by sending photographs of your surroundings to another survivor confined elsewhere. But before long, a disturbing truth begins to dawn. All right. On the onset, looks like there's no controller support for this one. I will be playing on my Apple iPhone 10 through touch. So, let's get at it. Let's see where what am I what am I looking for? Whoa. Okay, ooh. Things seem to be falling all around me. This cannot be good. This is the Bradwell Smart Glass Emergency Protocol. Do not take off the smart glasses. Scanning for internal injuries. Please remain as still as possible. No internal bleeding detected. No fractures detected. No open wounds detected. Larynx damage from smoke inhalation detected. Mm. Speech will not That's be good. possible. Please do not attempt to speak. Movement assessment protocol <laughs> activated. Please move forward to get up. Okay, I'm doing that. I'm doing that thing. Thank you. Please look around. Thank you. Please move to the designated point. Okay. Alright. Feels a little slow on the movement right now, but that's okay. They don't want me to miss any details, apparently. Designated point. Okay, sweet. Some slightly faster movement. Thank you. Please crouch down and move to the designated point. Alright. Please stand up right. again. Thank you, and apologies for any loss of dignity. Movement <laughs> assessment complete. Probability of survival high. Please proceed immediately to the main entrance. I like a little bit of the mild humor there, that's entertaining. Go to the main entrance. I'm guessing it's this uh, green area over here. A lot of arrows seem to be pointing here. <laughs> main entrance locked down. We apologize for any inconvenience. Attempting to establish network communication with emergency services. Connection failed. Broadcasting emergency distress signal on alternative channels. Please proceed to emergency exit 2 in the north wing stairwell. Okay, activity feed here. Oh, interesting. Okay. Guide. Okay, so I can reread all the guide dialogue that's happened. Go to exit north wing stairwell. Go to the main entrance. Happened. That happened. Okay, okay. All right. Moving, moving forward. Scanning radio frequencies. We're coming live from the Bradwell Stonehenge Museum, where the situation appears to be escalating. As I speak, we're being pushed farther back by emergency service workers. Indeed, tonight's public celebration for Bradwell's Clean Water Initiative milestone has turned into a public crisis. An explosion occurred at 7.45 p.m. Well, fully good. evacuated with no major injuries or fatalities. But with so many VIPs in attendance tonight, there is already speculation about terrorist involvement, especially given the Bradwell's history. Almost 11 years ago, three members of the Bradwell family were killed at the British Consulate in Belgium in 2015. No good. <laughs> Responsibility was claimed by the En Masse movement, a left-wing militant group Here's with the, the stated wing. goal of bringing down the 1%. Okay. So we've got uh, some creepy, creepy atmosphere here. There's some deep growling going on. 
so am I gonna die in here? Is that what's going on? I mean, holy crap, look at all the writing on the wall. History of Bridewell Stonehenge. Hmm. Guys, feel free to pause the video if you want to read through this. I will read it later. I'm going to just keep moving forward. I don't think there's any clues per se. I haven't been given any direction regarding what to do. Just going to naturally go up this way because I assume that's a good enough thing to do. North wing. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing to see there, folks. I'm going to check something out, guys, real quick. Options. Brightness. Controls. Audio default. Accessibility. Subtitles. Controls. Camera sensitivity. Okay, let's bump that up a little bit. See how we feel about that. Okay, that's a little better. Yeah, the um, side to side movement was really slow. Due to unforeseen circumstances, the museum is now closed. Please continue to your designated Okay, exit. that feels a little better, guys. Yeah, the default is super slow with the looking around. It still feels a little slow, I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to adjust it one more time. I'm going to max it out and see how I feel about that. Let's see, go to controls. So raise the camera sensitivity all the way up. That's, that's a bit more comfortable now. Wait, did I miss something? What's this? Evacuation alert. Please proceed to your nearest usable exit. Hmm. Well, I feel like the guide is helping me. Attempting to access door controls. Please wait. Accessing door controls failed. Door offline. Please proceed to emergency exit 3 in Museum South Wing. Well, that's fun. Oh, looks like I can go up. up. Nope. Yeah, maybe. I don't want to fall. Okay, there we go. Crouch. There's a good amount of detail here. The graphics aren't bad. Curious where what direction this game will go in. It's got good surround sound, like I can hear things to my left and right as I move through the environments. That's pretty good. Emergency exit three is directly opposite your current location. Please proceed there immediately. Okay, I'm gonna try. Or did I miss the door? Oh wait, what's this? Summer Solstice 2026. Oh, okay, this is kind of in the near future. Huh. All right, I feel like I'm running towards a dead end. Hello? Anyone there? Say something if you're there. I thought you're distressed. And I was told I can't out. talk. Guide detected. Establishing connection. Connection established. Finally! The suspense nearly killed me. You okay? Visitor is unable to answer due to damaged vocal cords from smoke inhalation. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'll talk. You listen, and maybe we'll both get out of here alive. I think I found our way out. Just gotta open this. Problem is, the door controls on my side aren't responding. Are yours working? Oh, right. You can't talk with the whole vocal... I mean, I'm trying. Thing. I'm looking at the buttons here. Wait! Your guide can take photos. Those can be, like, your voice. Guide established permanent photo connection. Oh, oh boy. Oh, what that means? Established. Launching tutorial. It's... it's just pressing a button. We don't need... Welcome to the photo <laughs> tutorial. Your personal Bradwell guide glasses come with an exciting photo mode. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Capture and share your favorite moments here at the Bradwell Stonehenge Museum. 
We really don't need a tutorial. Get ready to make memories. Here's how. Press the photo button now to take and share a photo. <laughs> what a great eye. You are a natural. As long as you are connected to the guide network, your photos will be instantly sent to connected friends and family. Snap and share. Okay, get that great eye on the door controls. There you go. Shoot, your door controls aren't online either. Guide, is there any way to get the power back on? I suggest requesting a member of the museum staff to investigate the relevant distribution board. Great, up to us then. Okay, let's find that board and get the heck out of here before this whole place drops on us. Go look around and send me photos if you find anything or get stuck. That's a pretty uh, creative way of handling this. I, I'm interested to see how f how far that concept will carry. Let's see, where do I go? What's over here? Maintenance. Bet you weren't expecting to be fighting for your life today, huh? Yeah, definitely check out where the broken door leads to. Oh. That is a creepy sound. I am not digging that sound. This looks like the place. Any boxes on the wall? Multiple choice? Um, open them all up, I guess. Sending picture. Just look inside them. Okay. Um. Okay, so start flipping switches till the lights turn green. Excellent work. Everything just lit up like a cheap bar on St. Patrick's Day. Sweet. Hurry back so I can see what's <sighs> up with we the We finally panel. got lights. That was creepy for a minute. I'm not going to lie, guys. I scare easily when it comes to creepy vibes in a video game, especially first person stuff. Huh. Yeah, it's doing the same here. Lock panels are unpaired. Emergency access to pairing protocol granted. Pairing is achieved by comparing patterns and identifying the contrasting element. <clears throat> Three rounds must be completed oh to sync the locks. What is this, a freaking <laughs> game show? Fine, let's pair the heck out of these things. First pattern, here you go. You have to press the one button that's not lit up in either pattern. Oh, interact, okay. Not that one. The one that's not lit up in either. Okay, the first pattern is up again. It's the same one. The photo is in your guide's photo library. Okay, nice. Second pattern coming up. Okay, those two and those bottom two. Just one more That's and we're bad. out of here. Okay, top two in the middle, bottom. There, okay, top two, middle, bottom. Oh, shoot, how do I look at it again? Oh, okay, here we go. Um, top two, and then second up from the bottom, those three. Okay. Come on, you got this. Okay, boom. Yay. What's going... Oh, crap. The floor. Run! Ah! 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 Oh, boy. Nicely done.
That was pretty cool. Warning, this is a restricted area of Bradwell Amesbury Research and Development. Security will arrive shortly to escort you to a secure area. Wait. No. Oh, no, no, no! I cannot be back down here. Welcome back, Dr. Randall. A trespasser has been detected in the courtyard area. Proceed with caution. Well, you're alive, that's good, but we really, really have to get out of here right now. Um, there's a... There's a train station in the atrium close to you. <sighs> Go there and ping me. I'll meet up with you as soon as I can. I crashed into some offices, so got to find a way down first. It's interesting. These shadows are a little pixely in design. What, what? I guess right about now you wish you'd never gotten that invite. Okay. Oh, okay. If I take pictures, she'll make commentary about it. That's cool. Wait, what's this? No, it's the same thing. Okay. Moving on, guys. Moving on. That was a pretty cool little introduction. I like it. Um, uh oh. I'm a little stuck here. Okay, I can't go that way. Can't go that way. Okay, nothing there yet. Home of the future of technology. Yes, this much is true. Well, I will say this. The one thing I, th I feel that this game would benefit from if I was to give a critique at this point is um, it could definitely benefit from future control. Like, it's a little laggy from time to time. And I wouldn't mind, if I'm being honest, to get, like, a Bluetooth uh, controller option. That's not the train station. If we want out, the train station is the best bet. Okay, Go my there. Bad, my bad. Okay, are we here yet? What do the signs say? Transport office? Hey, that's worth checking okay. out. Okay, let's see what's in here. Hmm. Oh, a map. Train station sealed. Really? Well, that's my plan A out the window. Guide any other ways out of here. I cannot search for alternative exits as I'm unable to connect to the building control system. However, according to standard evacuation procedures, most exits will have been sealed by now. Ugh, I guess we have to keep looking. There must be another way to get this? out of here. Oh, look! The medical evac system is still online. Not that you'd know what that is. It's meant for injured employees, but I think we qualify. We just need to get to medical. We'll need to use the elevators to get there. Oh, that map photo you sent me earlier. Okay, what you saying, map? Hmm, lifts are locked. Guide, what does that mean? Standard evacuation procedures dictate that once main evacuation has been completed, lifts are sent to secure positions and taken offline. Lifts can then only be unlocked from the main lift engine room. Okay, judging by the map, that's very close to where I am right now, so I'll check it out. Except you won't be able to use them since you only have a museum guide. Oh, I have an idea! We're going to upgrade you from a trespasser to a bona fide Bradwell Amesbury employee. Kinda. On the map, see induction reception? Head there, then ping me. Uh, and is that where I'm at? Let's see. 
There we go. I never worked in this department, so I have no idea. Sorry. Wait. She said, go to the induction reception. Okay, that, that's where I'm at. Oh, cool. You found the induction reception. Good. See the vending machine? It's full of staff guides coded to new hires. We need to unlock one of these so you can take the Bradwell induction experience and become a Bradwell employee. Oh, boy. You should then be able to use the elevators. But to make that happen, I need a Bradwell ID for someone who's supposed to start today or tomorrow. So take a look around and send over anything with an ID. Hmm. Oh, wait. What's that? Seriously? The drawer's locked? Come on, guys. What are we doing here? None of these are unlocked? Come on. Ugh. Oh, oh, wait. Sweet. Let me try this ID just one sec. Employee ID confirmed. Dr. Alex Sager, clean water and energy research. Huh, okay. Unfortunately, not a medical profile, but... Well, it'll have to do for now. Go pick it up! Hmm. Pick it up, pick up what? Oh, here we go. Welcome, Dr. Sega, to <laughs> Bradwell Amesbury. Today is the first day of our new and exciting future together. Please wait while we prepare the compulsory Bradwell new employee induction. Okay, I'm going to go get the elevators out of lockdown. But don't worry, I'll keep an eye on you. So... Good luck, and, um, you're gonna be fine. Experience prepared. Dr. Sega, please enter to start your new we journey. Go. Oh, good, a tutorial, all right. I hope you like cheese. What you're about to see is... <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Bradwell Research and Development's new employee induction. At Bradwell, the difference is you. Pat yourself on the back. You are the best of the very best in your field. Oh, God, it's worse than I remember. The view on here is a little this, jumpy. The R&D Amesbury is Bradwell's newest facility. Your work here is classified and vital. Finding solutions to many modern-day issues for both Bradwell Electronics and the Bradwell Foundation. If the world needs it, we can make it happen here. Research and development is headed by Melissa Bradwell, daughter of John Bradwell, founder of Bradwell Electronics. Both father and daughter have worked tirelessly to effect positive change through technology. As an engineer here at Bradwell R&D Amesbury, your work will focus on a newly discovered revolutionary material. Bradwellium, more simply known as substance, is the next advancement in material sciences. Ooh. Programmable matter. Bradwellium has already been fundamental in the development of a game-changing piece of technology. Oh, this is my... The Substance Mobile Printer, a device which allows for the instant fabrication of objects. Yes, matter transfiguration, <laughs> no longer a thing of science fiction. The SMP uses Substance to print any type of objects from digital blueprints created by engineers like yourself. We've put together a short, practical application test to give you first-hand experience with this revolutionary device and its applications. No turning back now. Time to leap into the weird world of material sciences. I'm gonna go unlock these elevators. For real this time. Exit to your right and proceed to the testing area. Sweet. All right. Oh, thematic music and everything. All right, experience this way. Here we go, guys. For the creators of tomorrow, Bradwell presents the Substance Mobile Printer, or SMP for short. This is the latest prototype featuring the substance printing technology. Please take the SMP. Let's learn how we reclaim an item made of substance and then print an identical copy into a new place. 
This is the gateway to your potential, and this <laughs> is the key Gosh. of determination. As the first step, please reclaim the key using the SMP. All right, giant key. Press the active interact circle to reclaim the key. Active interact circle. Oh. The reclaiming procedure recycles the substance material and stores a digital blueprint of the item in your SMP library. As long as there is enough substance in the SMP, you can print as many <clears throat> copies helpful. as you like. In order to print, you need to activate the SMP mm, printing activate mode. The printing mode. The preview's traffic light color scheme indicates if the SMP is able to print the item or not, or if more substance is required. Now, stay in printing mode, point the SMP to the keyhole in the gate, and move towards it. As you can see, the SMP's advanced algorithms will suggest valid printing positions. Press the print button to print the key <laughs> into the lock. Congratulations, you have unlocked the gateway to your potential. Please All go right. to the next Not section. Bad. Welcome to Cats or Dogs. Bradwell's fun and in no way judgmental personality test asks you kindly to print a total of six cats or dogs on the colored platform areas. We need at least one of each animal printed for our patented bias weighting. So pick and print. Shelly the oh, cat like and Troy the, the cat. dog. That will sounds be the good. Please wait for instructions. Okay. Hmm. Let's do this first. What do I need? For security and copyright reasons, some substance items have their blueprints locked. Your guide interface will let you know if a substance item okay. is locked. This is refined <coughs> Bradwellium, or substance brick, ready to be reclaimed by the SMP. No blueprints from one of these, sadly. Okay, but can I take... there we go. Taking the, taking the material, alright. Now I should have enough material to print something. You know what, I'm going to go with the cat. I installed the blueprint. Your SMP can print onto most flat surfaces. For your well-being, the SMP decides if it is safe to print an object. What's that, Troy? No, no, the nice Bradwell applicant hasn't forgotten about you. Oh no, I need you. more Don't material. Okay, what do I do about this? SMP is able to store multiple blueprints. Change the active blueprint with the change blueprint button. All right, Shelly the cat, nice. Cats and dogs love treats. Think of the personality test platform as one big treat for them and you. Oh, what? Okay, I need more material. Looks like we're going to use a little bit of everything here. Print that cat one more time. There's too much Shelly, even for Shelly. She needs at least one Troy to ignore. One Troy to ignore? Oh, uh, okay, switch the blueprint. And print. Well done for completing the Bradwell personality <laughs> test. Go you. Want to know what's in your mind? 
Check out the screen nearby for the results of your personality test. Good luck on the next section. Troy gave an encouraging bark, and Shelley was, well, you know what cats are like. When you're ready, please go to the next section. All right, you are someone who is focused on getting all the way to the top as a problem solver. You are not afraid of any obstacles that are thrown in your way. You speak in actions rather than words. You are easy to work with, and your colleagues value your trust. Wow, the accuracy meter has blown way past the 100% mark on this one. Guys, this has been the Bradwell Conspiracy game. Um, so far, I've enjoyed it. It's... Ooh, i turn that down. It's got a few quirks, uh, a few kinks. It's not perfectly polished, but very entertaining. It's a little laggy at times. I think it would benefit from a controller option. Um, you know, aside from all that, though, I had a lot of fun. Uh, this, this one ran a little bit longer, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, I would recommend trying this game out at the very least if you like puzzle solving. Um... And the narration is fun. Uh, there's a lot of good comedy in here. I like I like the game quite a bit. Um, well, that's that's going to do it for now, guys. Uh, thanks for joining me in our Apple Arcade First Looks series. I've been your host, Joe Tweeten. And as always, nerds, I'll see you on the other side.